you're welcome. Please have a seat, make yourself comfortable. My name is Maddie and I am going to be proctoring your survey today. So, um, have you done a survey or any surveys with us prior? Okay, yeah. And how did you hear about us? Alrighty, well, I just wanted to thank you so much for coming in. I do really appreciate um, you being here and helping us out with your answers. So, uh, do you just want to make this perfectly, perfectly clear? Um, this is completely anonymous, and while we will publish um, the results, they're not going to be attached to you or your info in any, any way. Um, so, yeah, to just want to make that perfectly clear. Um, before we begin, uh, can I get you a drink or anything like that? We have water, coffee, tea. Uh, okay, you sure? Um, so this is going to be 50 questions. It should take just around a half an hour. Um, and if at any point you need to take like a bathroom break or you're getting antsy and you just want to go on a walk or something, please feel free to. Um, we do ask that for all these questions. You answer them as truthfully as possible. Um, again, completely anonymous. And um, take as much time as you need to answer each question, okay? Are you ready to begin? All right, so just some kind of preliminary questions. Uh, can I get your first and last initial? This is just going to be to kind of track all your answers in our database. Okay, and for our demographic um, analysis purposes, uh, can I get your year of birth and your gender? Alrighty, so first question, how old were you when you learned how to ride a bike? Okay, how many oceans and or seas have you swam in? Okay, what was the last compliment you gave someone? And again, take as long as you need to answer each question. Alrighty. What are the first three things you do when you wake up? Okay. Okay. Is there anything that you collect? It can be, you know, uh, like baseball cards or seashells or even, I don't know, <laughs> it can be truly anything. Okay. Even if it's unintentional. Ah, uh, okay. What is your favorite Crayola crayon color? Ah. Okay. Next up, what is the most trivial thing that you have a super strong opinion on? Something that, you know, doesn't seem really important, but something you would, you know, die on a hill for. Okay, then. Yeah, I can tell you're very passionate. Okay, when is the last time you put on sunscreen, if you, if you remember? Okay, yeah. Do you quote any 
movies or TV shows on a regular basis. Maybe it's a like kind of ongoing thing with your friend group or uh, maybe it's something you kind of unintentionally quote or really can be anything. I've never seen it. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe I'll have to give it a watch. First page done. You're doing an excellent job. Okay. <laughs> this one is going to seem a little bit daunting, but again, anonymous. This is going to be shared with anyone. Um, have you ever been a witness to a crime? You don't have to go into detail if you don't want to. Ah, okay. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Um, what is the craziest conversation that you've overheard in public? Or even most interesting? Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know what I would do in that situation. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, when is the last time you mailed a letter or sent out a package, something like that? Even if you were to say like returning an Amazon package, something like that. Hmm. Okay. What do you think is the funniest word in your native language? Okay, can you spell that for me? Okay. Feel free to uh, answer why you think so, but no worries if not, if you just want to leave it at the word. Okay. <laughs> there an odd smell that you love? Something like gasoline or nail polish remover or turpentine, bug spray, etc. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so to follow that up, what scent do you find most nostalgic? If that's the same answer, that's totally okay too. Okay. Um, is there a specific question you're hoping I ask you at some point? This one's a fun one. <laughs> okay. I don't know, you'll have to see what's in store. <laughs> okay. Do you have a favorite flavor of gum other than mint? And that includes all types of mint. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. What is the weirdest superstition that you believe in? Well, it may not be weird to you, but maybe the most out there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 
I agree with that one. Yeah. <laughs> My friends kind of make fun of me for it, but it's kind of the one thing I'm, I'm superstitious about. <laughs> okay. Through the second page, I'm through this. <laughs> okay. Who is your guilty pleasure music artist? Mm -hmm. This might be a little embarrassing to admit to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no judgment, I promise. Any specific songs? Okay. <laughs> what is the first three-letter word that comes to your head? Lovely. Next up, what is a social stigma that you've never understood? Okay. Yeah, all right. When was the last time you slept more than 12 hours? Consecutively, I should say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Alrighty, next up. What do you think is the best accent other than your own? Do you have a favorite? I have gotten that answer yet, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Okay. Next, what is the worst thing that you've eaten just to be polite? Whether you, know, you were um, just eating something your parents made, or you were uh, meeting with someone else's parents and they cooked, or you were out at a restaurant, something that if you were just eating by yourself, you wouldn't have finished. Or even taken another bite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that does sound kind of unfortunate. Okay. When was the most inappropriate time you've ever laughed? Yeah, sometimes. I laugh when I get really uncomfortable too, and it's, it's put me on some really bad situations. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that kind of would have been awkward. You'd be surprised how many people have said a super similar thing, so I don't think you're alone in that. <laughs> okay, do you leak your bed every morning? Are you just that kind of person? Okay. Alright. These next two kind of go along together, so it's the most expensive purchase that you've made. That would check out. <laughs> okay. And what about the most expensive purchase that you almost made? Something that was really, really tempting, but you just couldn't get yourself to, to spend the money. Ah. Uh, that also makes sense. Okay. 
what's the best fake excuse that you've made for being late? Something that, you know, worked kind of without question, maybe it's something you use on a reoccurring basis, or even if it was just a one-time thing. Oh. Okay. All right, props to you. <laughs> what is your best pickup line? Again, something that might be a reoccurring thing. Maybe it was a one-off thing. Doesn't really matter if it's worked or not. Bonus points if it did, but <laughs> just maybe something you've come up with or it could even be something you haven't used yet. You could try it out on me. Just kidding. Anyways, let me hear it. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Next question. If you ask the universe for a sign, if this is something that you do, what does that look like? So, you know, some people have angel numbers, some people have a, you know, very specific make, model, color of a car um, that they'll see, or some people have a, like, a random catchphrase that they'll hear someone use in conversation, um, or do you just not believe in that sort of thing? Okay. Mm-hmm. I see, I see. Okay. Have you ever had a near-death experience? Okay. Yeah, go into as much or as little detail as you'd like. It is so windy outside. <laughs> uh, anyways, keep going, so sorry. Uh -huh. Wow. All right. Okay. What is the best video essay or um, documentary that you've seen? Um, or it could really be any more like non-fiction type of media, specifically like video. <laughs> okay. Interesting. No, I don't think I've seen it. Next question, do you receive your checks weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, on another schedule, or do you not receive checks? Do you just, you know, have like direct deposit, or um, do you get cash? Do you not have a job right now? Okay. Uh-huh. For sure. Great. Then we have to add another page. Okay. So, for the next question, are you familiar with the D&D &D alignment chart? Yeah, so it's um, kind of like a 3x3 three three chart. There, um, on one, let's say the x-axis is going to be you know, good, neutral, evil, and then on the y-axis would be uh, 
lawful, neutral, chaotic. So, for example, you could be um, lawful good or like a true neutral, like right in the middle. You could be um, chaotic good, chaotic evil. Where do you think you fit? Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay. So, what is the candle scent that best represents your personality? It can be, you know, if you have a really specific brand and name in mind, or you can kind of just riff off the top of your head, you can even make something up, really whatever. Okay. Yeah, okay. Alright, next question. If you smoke cigarettes, which are your favorites? Okay. Yeah, totally get ya. Alright. When was your last haircut? This could either be know by professional hairstylist by your friends by yourself yeah whatever okay yeah perfect answer thank you are you a side back or a stomach sleeper or do you kind of switch it up all the time Okay. Uh -huh. Great. Okay. Do you have any irrational fears? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that totally works if that's if that's how you feel. <laughs> Okay. What's your go to pick in truth or dare? I get that, you know, it's different based on the circumstance who you're playing with, that sort of thing, but in any situation, do you tend to pick truth or dare more? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, what is the most prominent physical facial feature of yours? This can be, you know, you can take, um, you know, what other people have told you or what you think so. Yeah, it can be whatever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next question, super easy. Can you tie a tie? Yeah, just a standard. Okay. Perfect. On to the last page. How are you feeling? Great. You've been sitting so well. Thank you. Okay. So, if you could live in the world of any animated movie or TV show, what would it be? Yeah, specifically animated. Okay. Ooh, great pick. Yeah. Okay, so, um, this past January, did you set a New Year's resolution? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
makes sense. And to follow that up, how is that coming? Okay. Perfect. Okay. What is something you didn't realize was overrated until you had bought or experienced it? Could really be anything. Yeah, that is a surprisingly common answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so fair. Okay, second to last question. What is something that just instantly takes you back to your childhood or makes you feel like a kid again? So this is less like the question earlier about like a scent that's nostalgic, more so like, uh, I'm trying to think of a really good example, like you know, swinging or um, maybe drawing with colored pencils or um, sitting crisscross house laws, that sort of thing. If there's just one specific thing that just takes you back to either the feeling of being a kid again or is very nostalgic in itself. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I totally get you. Alright, and lastly, did you answer these questions in your head or out loud? Okay. Perfect. Well, you're all done. Yeah. Um, just wanted to say again, thank you so much. That was excellent. Yeah, we really, really appreciate you. Mm -hmm. If you could tell like, your friends or um, really do anything to share this and uh, help us out get some more responses, that would be awesome. But yeah, you can just leave at that same door you came in. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, well, it was a pleasure interviewing you today. I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day. Yeah. Uh, hope to see you back in the future if we hold some more surveys. <laughs>